We have to give uh, Mr. Ryan Hayes in a quick round of applause because he's the one who has to put up with me and Amy for the next 30 minutes. Yes, and, and try to keep us under control, which is a very difficult proposition. All right. So raise your hand if you already know how amazing Moodle data is. Raise your hand. Do you know how amazing Moodle data is? It is the best LMS for capturing everything through learning analytics. Come on, people. Come on. Give it up for learner, I like Moodle data. Come on, man. Give it up. Thank you. Come on. It's amazing. It is amazing. Please raise your hand if you agree that learning analytics and data have become incredibly important in a post-COVID world. Clap it up, raise your hands. Yeah, we do too, we do too. Raise your hand, or who can tell me what you think IntelliBoard is? Really, people, come on. <laughs> what is IntelliBoard? Okay, good. Here, I'll just give you the mic. <laughs> come on up. Yeah, come on up. Here, right? Excellent. Thank you. A lot of people knew IntelliBoard from when we started. We'll kind of talk about that in a little bit, that we are a Moodle plugin. And we are here to show you today that, Mo that IntelliBoard is a very, very different platform from where we came from. So thank you for being here with us today. And let's kind of talk about what IntelliBoard actually is. IntelliBoard now helps you save time for stakeholders with enhanced data visualizations. Okay, much better than even what we used to provide. You illuminate your learner behavior using multiple data sets. Say it with me, people. Multiple data sets. You people, I, I can tell everybody is just like still recovering from the Moodle party, right? Oh, and by the way, those of you who, had, who saw Diego wear this, right, at the Moodle party yesterday, somebody has already come to me and said that Diego wore it better. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. So... We know, and I really want you to, I want to hammer this home because it's really important. Multiple data sets. We automatically notify stakeholders and document conversations easily. And we provide every stakeholder the right data at the right time to empower them for success. And that is kind of IntelliBoard in a nutshell. So we're, let's talk about that in a little bit greater detail, and we'll talk about the IntelliBoard story. In 2015, we incorporated, and we were providing reports for Moodle. That's what we did. In 2016, we hired, or rather we were introduced into the Moodle Premium Integrator Program, and we hired our first employees. <laughs> I was the one. <laughs> we build from there. In 2018, we had our first major development as a plugin, as a Moodle plugin, and that is what you now know as our legacy platform. How many people are familiar with our legacy platform? I know that we have multiple people in here who are using it, so that's great. In 2019, we had 10 million learners on the platform. In 2021, we had over 500 different institutions globally using IntelliBoard. And in 2022, we now have IntelliBoard Next. These are some of the institutions who are currently using IntelliBoard, and we also have 100 million now, learner interactions, 
500, again, institutions using Teleboard, and we have more than 100 employees. 100 employees, which is pretty cool. It's been, uh, uh, admittedly, a little bit overwhelming. So let me tell you a little bit about some of the people who use Intelliboard in terms of the success stories. One of them is Rhodes University. Rhodes University is in South Africa, and they are hosted by the Moodle partner, Innovation. Rhodes University wanted to know, how do we know if students are engaged, right? Their processes were very costly and time consuming and obviously something they needed to fix. They needed strategy and process for online learning improvement. So the solution for them was to develop that online strategy where student engagement was measured by time spent and access in one platform. And they shared with us that SQL was very time consuming and very costly, right? It took us months to get data sets that have meaningful insights, months. Okay, we'll, we'll do it for you like instantly if you're good with that, instantly. We'll help you out with that. Our second one is IPAG, IPAG. IPAG is in France, and they are hosted by another Moodle partner, EduNow. EduNow had a need for a ready-to-use, easy-to-deploy, budget-friendly, high-value analytics and reporting system. And they wanted to know, how do they easily identify the right data for their stakeholders? And they knew that they lacked the software to distribute that data and the reports to the right people. They were able to present high-value analysis to stakeholders by accessing and identifying the right data with Intelliboard. Some of you may know Thomas, he's been around in the Moodleverse for a long time, and he shared that the Intelliboard solution speaks for itself. It's ready to use. I can stay focused on distribution to whom I have to distribute all this data and to whom I have to deliver high value analysis. And the last one before Amy jumps in is IBM. And IBM has, uh, IBM is really interesting. Did anybody attend Michael Maloney's presentation yesterday in here, Michael Maloney, IBM? Okay, so IBM uses us all over everywhere. So they use us through Michael, uh, through Michael Maloney and in an application for the American military. And they also use it through their training and uh, various business units, as you can see here. So they needed centralized data sharing because that was missing. And they track course criteria completion with Intelliboard. And they needed to know where learners exit prematurely. How can courses be improved? What factors contribute to re-enrollments? And so they democratize their access to the data through all the business units where unit leaders are responsible for determining needed changes to courses. And you can see in there, what they shared was they now have internal business unit representatives responsible for managing the success of an activity on their digital learning, using Intelliboard to monitor business unit activities, and then notify key staff and superiors. Forgive me for being unable to memorize all of those different quotes. Now I'm going to hand it over to Amy, and she's going to tell you how. How Intelliboard Next works, right? So all of these user stories are applicable inside Intelliboard Next. Intelliboard Next intends to be your learning analytics solution. We are no longer just Moodle reports or even just LMS reports. We really are seeking to empower your learning outcomes through various different steps. So my friends, we're gonna talk about the first two bubbles on this slideshow, on this slide right here. Combining valuable data resources, Tanya already said it, combining valuable data resources and then viewing those learning analytics, again the learning analytics not just your LMS data. So we're going to go to the next slide. 
First of all, friends, we're going to get the, the, more, the very important and technical business out of the way. We have five servers globally. We are GDPR compliant, hosted by America, Amazon Web Services. The big difference between the legacy and the next platform is a different plugin. It's called IntelliData. It is going to migrate the data on a one-time basis and then process daily. This allows us to use the the data in federated data tables together, United Data Tables, and allows for processing during non-peak hours. When the end users are running those dashboards and reports on Intelliboard Next, our servers are taking the load, they're processing the data and not interfering with the live environment of the LMS system or any other data we're combining it with. So, talking about those integrations, we have several integrations that are going to be out of the box. These work with Moodle and Moodle Workplace. It's going to involve web services and a token, also an encryption key. But in addition to Moodle and Workplace, SIS systems, who's heard of Lucian, HRIS systems, who's heard of Workday, Web conferencing tools have also been a priority for our clients. This includes Zoom data, Blackboard Collaborate data, and upcoming Teams data. Also, XAPI data, all of that can be imported in through our integrations. This also includes all the additional snazzy Moodle and Workday tables, including certificates and programs. We'll talk more about that later. But my friends, we know we are in a creative open source community here, right? We know that there's always going to be additional plugins. There's going to be some that you've created and close your ears, gasp, that spreadsheet of data that lives in a spreadsheet in the closet, right? There's data everywhere, all over our campuses and organizations. Inform allows you to import and automate through an SFTP to bring that data in and associate through in a unique ID, right? So you don't necessarily need to continue to create the API connections. You can do that through Inform. It intends on the next slide to be a point and click right, in this table, in the interface, map your data together. Once that one-time mapping is done, that data can again be updated automatically through an SFTP, allowing you to bring that data into our visual builder. This is where it gets real fun with the new and improved visual builder. We, I, y'all, I just get so jazzed about it because visual data is actionable data. Gone are the days that we can expect these end users to look at a spreadsheet of data without their eyes crossing and know how to make the best decisions, right? There's two groups of users, largely with Intelliboard Next. I would say the report creators, right? I'm looking at you people, right? Us data geeks, we love it. We want to create these dashboards. We want to create the silver, silver tray report where the filters are already done and it's telling a data story and I know where to intervene. I know the expectation, right? So on the next slide, you can see how on that right-hand side, you have all of the different columns of LMS data. Most importantly, if we circle back in our minds to all of those additional data integrations, those are in the builder as well. Again, your SIS data, your Zoom data, this pesky spreadsheet that lives in the closet data, all in one place available to you through the builder. And designed for educators by educators, you have default reports by role. This isn't necessarily just your LMS role. These are humans that are utilizing data. A default learner dashboard, right? Increasing data literacy for our students. An instructor dashboard, saving them time. Student success, identifying at-risk students. All of these are in the default library that you can then further personalize. And again, here's just a sneak preview of off the, off the uh, hot off the press workplace program and certificate reports in the dashboard. 
that top visualization is going to be where you can click into a particular program and see those details change instantly underneath. And uh, we had the great opportunity to visit University of Barcelona, one of our clients, and this is a dashboard that we made for them. But once you have the data through the builder, you also have the interface to bring in logos, text boxes, additional visualizations. The idea here is we want to give you the ability not only to brand, but create policy and clarify what those interventions are. Finally, and again, friends, thanks for letting me be real excited because you get to formulate, calculate, and identify within the platform, right? You get to build out the calculation. Say it is a uh, training that's high stakes. You have to complete it in 30 days. You can create a 30 day, plus 30 days from the enrollment. You can calculate it out. You can identify uh, seven days left in that 30 and highlight by red, right? So identifying where you need to take action on that data right within the platform. And SQL too. This, I don't. This slide always scares me a little, I gotta say. If, like if that's you're good your, with SQL, knock yourself out. But this one's always real scary to me. If, if you wanna go down that route, it's there. Mm -hmm. And if you are a little intimidated by the SQL, again, for those report consumers, you're going to have an LTI back in to the Moodle environment. Um, they no longer have to go to a different place. You're no longer logging in. All of this can be set up through an LTI. And most importantly to me, my friends, is you can sync users. So you can sync your learners, you can sync your instructors, syncing those additional roles with those data sets managed the permissions, right, are the Moodle permissions. So if anything changes in Moodle, their data sets will also change. I'm only going to say it once, and you have to promise not to laugh at me when I try. But another one of our clients is Universidad A-A-N-A. -A -A. How'd I do? Reasonably well? Reasonably well? Come on, somebody give me some encouragement here, man. Come on. All right, thank you. Especially the Spanish speakers. Like, I know I'm not perfect, but I'm really trying to get it right. So they've been long-term clients of ours. And, and I want to be able to find them, and I can't find them now. That sucks, because I really thought I had it ready. So now I look bad. That makes me sad. Oh, and it's not even here. Okay, great. So I don't have my slides here, and I have no idea what I'm going to say. So here we go. A, A, N, A, right? Needed to measure their ROI for various resources. And this is incredibly important because in measuring their resources, right, they are identifying through their stakeholders what their ROI is. Thanks, hon. Who has entered the course? Who has successfully completed it? And what is the level of engagement by instructor and by course? So you can see that the institutions, again, we have very, very common themes globally, right? We absolutely want to know engagement, engagement, engagement. In the United States, retention is incredibly important because you know how expensive it is to attend college in the United States. I still owe $8,000 for my daughter. Woohoo! So from that standpoint, money is very important to educational institutions in the U.S. In Europe, maybe money is not as big of a factor. However, retention definitely factors into reputation, right? And solidity of the institution. So we know that's incredibly important for everyone. A, uh, NA needed easy access to data and a dedicated onboarding program. Then when they, and is that right? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Okay. Okay. So, and they, what, what they shared is when they have up-to-date, meticulous, detailed data sets with key information to make decisions, they are able to demonstrate the reason for training needs and why it generates returns. And it allows them to justify and sustain their training actions. And this is incredibly important, right? 
Justification and sustaining. Hey, it's working, and here's the proof of it working, right? The data sets that are coming from your Moodle need to be demonstrated in a way that shows validity. It's tangible, where so much of what happens in the online learning environment isn't necessarily tangible. Simpson College is one of the most unique stories that we have. Simpson needed to require effective and efficient way to measure student engagement. Again, they required tools and technology to collect student engagement data, identify at risk or retain students, and share the data with the people who needed it. And they also admitted, right, that they needed to minimize outside spreadsheet manipulation because they had a lot of data in a lot of spreadsheets. Intelboard, as they shared with us, pulls data from our learning management system, which allows us to manage retention interventions. At the onset of the pandemic, we used Intelliboard to save our institution $1.2 million. And that was fantastic, and we were so excited to be able to help participate in that because it was huge for them. Avianca is the second longest operating airline globally. And they needed a way to meet high expectations for high stakes employee training. Intelliboard frequently refers to multiple high stakes training in two different buckets. In one bucket, you have those who are trying to keep money, like Avianca, right? They need to make sure that they have health, safety, and various kinds of training and compliance because they are absolutely critical, right? I mean. It's live or die for Avianca in many cases. Retailers who do food service preparation, right? Um, we all know McDonald's, right? Health is very incredibly important to those institutions who have to train employees on health. And then there are another group of high stakes people or high stakes institutions who are engaged in selling courses. It's literally, literally their product. And they need to know that those courses are fantastic. Right? So all of those are incredibly important. And Avianca shared that Intelliboard is the primary source of data points and data sharing within Avianca's learning management system. It generates automatic notifications for training leaders on the training courses taught within the system, focused on identifying aspects of course performance, learner performance, and how training can be improved. Wonderful. So back into the platform. We're going to start next with, now we have that data, we visualize that data. Now we're going to predict learner behavior and move on forward. Our dear Moodle friend and colleague, Elizabeth Dalton, started the predictive learning models, and here it lives with Intelliboard Next. We're thrilled about it. Most importantly, this is your historic data, right? These are models provided to you, but you input the source data. This means that it's not our predictions. It's not our definition of at-risk. It's not our parameters. It's yours, and it can be different for different departments across your campus, right? Or it can have different uh, departments on an institution, a corporate institution. It is completely up to you. You can see here how we have that source data. We're including things like time spent. We're including things like grades, participations, different types of activities, but again, determined by you. Most importantly, friends, if we go back and remember that you can combine multiple data sets, this isn't just predictions on LMS data, this is predictions on any learning data. From here, you can put those predictions back into your visual builder, right? That closes that loop. You get the predictions back to those end users. And most importantly, you can then use any report, right? Any report that's in your builder to send personalized notifications to the end user. Not only can you send those to the end user in a summary of whom received it, but any data set in that notification in that report becomes a tag. You can say, hi, Amy, but you can also include any data sets you want in that notification. Finally, we're simplifying communication within contact to full 
You can enter in communication and interventions, but you can also document those notifications that have been sent in contact. Most importantly, this becomes a, the final data set, so you can really measure the ROI of your interventions for your students and beyond. And closing in tight, Ryan, we're finishing that. I know, we got, like, look at us, man. We are right on the money, right? High five, people, high five. Uh, everybody, thank you so much. And on behalf of IntelliBoard, I wanna be one of the people of, in this room to tell you how grateful we are to have you here and how grateful we are to be a part of the Moodle community, which is very, very dear to our hearts. Thank you all so much for coming, thank you. Thank you so much, Tanya and Amy. We do actually have time for one question, so. <laughs> Marty. So, um, I guess one of my biggest concerns is exposing this to learners and also to instructors. So do you folks have any recommendations on policy for how to do this in a respectful and meaningful way to learners? We do have a suggestion. It is very cultural as well. And by culture, I don't necessarily mean global culture. I mean even institutional culture because Martin is from the United States and just because we are potentially going to do it with North Carolina State University in one way does not mean that we would do it in that way in any other American university. Simple is always better. Right, there's a ton of Moodle data. I was a college professor for 15 years, and I can be the first one to assure you that I do not want a dashboard full of stuff, right? I want it very simple. Show me the absolute basic amount of information. Now, there's a lot of things that you can give students as well, but you want to watch out for, again, overwhelming them. In one of our clients in Asia, there is a dashboard where they can see their performance against the aggregated performance in the entire institution. That works for them. It probably doesn't work for most American institutions and audiences. It's not a stimulator. It's not a motivator. And that's very important to understand, right, in terms of the kind of university you are, the kind of rigor that you're looking for, and again, culture, culture, culture. <laughs>